Hey everybody, Big D here. And I'm Liam. Welcome back to another episode of Big D's and Liam's Custom Garage. Well, today we are uh, trying to finish up the uh, front of the three inch lift uh, on the 96 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, last week uh, we finished off with hitting a roadblock with the upper ball joints. Um, this week we're gonna try to get through over that hump and and uh, push out the rest of the the, uh, the front end and yeah. get, it all, get it all done and hopefully get to the rear end and get some things uh, finished up back there too. Yeah, we're trying to get the three inch lift done. We've It's been taking us a little bit. We've ran into some uh, obstacles here and there like you do with any vehicle. So yeah, um, with that being said, we're gonna roll into this next segment. Enjoy today's video and we will see you right back here at the end. So. Here we go. Okay, here we are. We're about ready to change the upper ball joint. Uh, we did the other side last week, at least halfway, um, and then we just finished the other side. Today we're gonna show you how to do it, or us doing it on this side, um, so you can kind of see how, how the process is. And we're also gonna be installing the new three inch lift. Uh, shock and spring. Um, so you'll see us doing that and then uh, the lift will be done and we'll see how far we get uh, if we get to the dropping the front differential. We'll see if we get to that this week and we'll also see if we uh, can get to the paint on the bar in the back. Uh, don't see us going that far but we'll see. Alright, here we go.
Okay, here we are. We're done officially with the lift kit portion, or at least the suspension lift kit portion of the Forerunner build. Um, as you can see, we have a three inch rough country suspension with all the options. We also have dropped the front differential, one inch. It was already previously uh, dropped with uh, some makeshift spacers and stuff like that, but we got a full we got a full drop now with the proper even uh, spacing all the way across. And also back here we got the bar relocation kit on the back, and we flipped our we flipped our trailer hitch. So instead of down here, it's up here, so we have more clearance coming out the back of the vehicle. That's also going to be the main mounting point for the new bumper. Yeah, we're going to, one of the mounting points is for the new bumper, not only coming out here with the box for more, for more support for all the weight I'm going to have back here, but also off the trailer hitch. It's going to be all incorporated into one, so we have plenty of support for the tire, water, gas, and jack that's going to be all located there. And as you guys see, we had to install pan hard bar relocating brackets. So the pan hard bar is where it's supposed to be at. We also kept the we also kept the uh, case of everyone in reverse, so we kept the stock mounting holes. Some people weld those up. We didn't do that here. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Hey everybody, welcome back. Yeah, as you saw, we uh, we finished everything up. Surprisingly, for the for the rough country three inch lift, uh, we did the dr the drop at dropping of the front differential. We did the pan hard bar relocation. We even changed the front uh, upper and lower ball joints on both sides. Yes. Uh, we fixed the, the rear. Um, in previous weeks, we also uh, changed the rear seal. We, we changed a lot of things yes, in this vehicle. Did. All the problems we, we can, we've come across, uh, we are we have fixed or planning to fix in the future. Yes. So uh, there's only a couple little things we still have to do. Uh, we noticed that the ABS center is totally missing, including the pigtail. Uh, for one of the front corners, so I have that ordered. It's on its way, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's where we stand. Yeah, uh, we do still have the uh, one-inch body lift to do on it yet, um, yeah, that's, but the that's coming up. Yeah, but the suspension is done. That was our main thing. We got the suspension completely done. Now we can move on to fabbing bumpers and yeah, put all it, that. Put in body stuff. lift, fabbing the front and rear bumpers. Uh, painting those uh, and, and going through the electrical, moving lights, and adding some accessories. We're ready for the trail after that. Yeah. So that's what's coming for the Forerunner in the future. Yes, and we do. You guys will notice in today's video, we do not have the sway bar end links on it on the front or the back right now. We left them unhooked, so when we go to test we can test properly. And Actually, then... let's cut to that video right now. Yes. So, to where we have them on, on hook. Yeah. Okay, guys. We got to show you this. No sway bars. Liam's driving in circles. Want to show you guys that uh, we don't have the sway bars hooked up right now. So you can see the severe body roll. So, that's what we were... We just went out for a test drive and wanted to show you guys that this thing has some good body roll. So there you go. See you guys in just a second. Okay, as you saw, it was pretty big, pretty big sway going on there, side yes. to side. So it's got that, some great body lean right now. <laughs> and that's going to help us on the trail when we disconnect us. So. Yeah, it looked like a pre-runner like Baja truck. It was kind of cool looking. Yeah, we took it around the block. We were having fun around corners. Yeah. No, no tire rub whatsoever. Thankfully for no. the, for the three-inch lift, 
it, it eliminated any tire rub we would have had. So yeah, we should awesome. get, we should get some decent flex out of it. I mean, no, we're not going to be able to do like gigantic boulders and yeah. but for what we do, it's it fine. should be just fine. Yeah, we should be good. And for the more extreme stuff, we have the blazer anyway. So you know, we'll be able to do both. So yeah, next week we will be uh, taking a break from Project Apocalypse and going to be starting the build of the 350 for Dark Matter, the K5 Blazer. Uh, block is all ready to go. If you guys uh, have not seen that yet, feel free to go over to our Facebook page or our Instagram page and see sneak peeks of the block already painted and cleaned up. Uh, but we will give you a more in-depth look at the block next week and we will get started on the assembly of the new motor. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, that's going to do it for this week. We will see you guys next week. I am Big D. And I'm Liam. And we're out. <laughs>